All right, everyone, I wanted to make a update video, basically uh, catch up on what's been going on with me and what, just in general. Um, I haven't really been putting up videos just because I've been so busy with other things. There's been uh, some personal things that's been going on lately, and I've been dealing with that too, so sorry for the lack of videos, but... You know, I'm I'm starting to wean myself back into putting up more content on my channel. But I figured why not just make an update video, just a quick overview on some recent changes because there's actually been some changes recently. Now, for anyone that's been following my channel for a long time, you're gonna notice this general area here is actually a little bit different now. Uh, basically because I'll, I'll give a backstory, but my father's, uh, iMac died and I try to get it working again, but it just refuses to work. So I decided because here's the thing, when it comes to like PC stuff in terms of gaming, PC gaming to me has always been like a secondary thing It's it's never been a big draw. So because of that, and honestly, when it comes to a lot of the AAA types of games, I tend to get it on the Xbox anyway, or, you know, for the console, or in some cases, the Switch. So if I am gaming on the PC, it's usually like the smaller titles that's not really available on the other consoles, or if or if it's a game that I'd rather play portably on the Switch, but it's not available on there, I'll play it on the PC. So, even though this PC I got is not like a cutting edge uh, gaming rig, and, and it is technically a gaming PC, but it's not really a high end one. But I got it more for more for production work. And this computer is really decent at that. So, basically, that's that's the reason why I went with this. I also wanted something a little bit uh, less bulky, a lot quieter, too. Um, the only time this, this uh, desktop computer really makes any noise is if I have a more high-intensive game being played on it. But besides that, this desktop computer is dead silent. That's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, that little white box, that's a Xbox branded game drive for the Xbox, but I use it for the PC. It was on sale. It's eight terabytes. So why not? And because this desktop computer is so much smaller, I went to Walmart, got one of these really, really cheap uh, end tables. They were like 12 bucks for it. And this is actually where I keep my Surface laptop. And I actually decided to start using my Surface 3 again. I've had the Surface 3 for years now. Basically, um, basically when it came out, this, this particular one, that, that was actually the Costco bundle. Which at the time was actually a really good deal for what it was. And I basically, I'm basically starting to use the Surface 3. More as a as a basic tablet and also for when I go to um, tabletop games. Because that's sometimes what I do too is play tabletop games. And instead of, you know, having like a bunch of papers and everything, I can just have everything on there. I have a pen for it. You know, I can write stuff on there. And to me, it's it's just easier to deal with. Especially when it comes to uh, certain situations in the games where, you know, I have to start shuffling things around. You know, this is just, you know, just the Surface, uh, just the Surface 3. And I can just move it out of the way with no problem. But uh, besides that, uh, that's really the only change. Well, in terms of the PC, this is an AMD Ryzen 7 setup here. Uh, the graphics card in it is not really, I mean, it's, 
it's their newer uh, versions, but it's not really a high-end graphics card. I may later down the line upgrade it, but for right now, I'm basically leaving it the way it is. And I'll say one thing for anyone out there that says like, oh, why'd you get an HP? They put so much crap on it. Well, the upgrade I did to this was because when I gave my my father my old PC, uh, I basically took out all the drives except the main drive. I reformatted that, reinstalled Windows on it, and gave it to him. It works fine for him. No issues. Though it is, it is a little on the loud side, but, you know, uh, that thing had one, two, three, four, five. That thing had, has seven fans in it. I could probably turn most of them off and it will still be fine. But, anyway. So, yeah. But in this particular case, um, because the drives I took out, one of them is a 850 gigabyte solid state drive. That's really, really quick. So I figured, okay, let me take out the one terabyte drive that came in there. Ba basically what I did was I re reformatted the, I reinstalled Windows uh, from the one terabyte. Well, I, I did the initial setup, get it online, let it communicate with, with Microsoft. Then I reinstalled Windows 10 on there and update it, get, get everything ready to go, take the drive out, put it away, stuck the 850 gig in there, installed Windows, Windows 10 onto the solid state drive. And because of that, and this is something I actually really like about Windows 10 is, yeah, you can say, you know, it's like, oh, Microsoft spying and all that stuff. But in terms of like, um, uh, the whole thing about, you know, HP or any other PC manufacturer adding a bunch of crap on it and, you know, they're, you know, adding like a third party, uh, any virus software, which personally for me, I know some people are going to be saying or completely disagreeing with me, me on this, but I believe having Windows 10 as stock as possible in terms of the security, basically just letting using the built-in um, uh, Defender, you know, the, the, the Microsoft Windows uh, security software that's built into the OS. I think using that and just being smart on where you're going on the webs on the computer online is the best way to go because you're not losing performance. You know, you're not losing performance from the uh, third party antivirus software. You're not going to run into compatibility issues and you're not opening up security holes in the operating system because of those programs. And I'll be honest with you, I've been, I've been using the Microsoft version in even with uh, Windows Seven for well over ten years, and I've never had a single virus that ever detected or that I ever noticed. Now the one caveat is, is of course, is I did get one time. But that was because I was purposely doing that. But then again, that's not really the computer's fault. It was more the user purposely going to websites that he shouldn't be going and, you know, getting those things. So, and because I was purposely doing that, it, it, it really didn't matter. Um I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was actually fixing to reformat the drive anyway and reinstall Windows with a clean install. So at that point, I didn't really care. I just wanted to mess around with it, see what happens, and there you go. But in terms of day-to-day -day operations, I never had a single virus, ever. Not on the desktop computer, not on my Windows laptop, or even the Surface 3. Never had any problems with it. So, so yeah, when you go to the store and buy a computer and the salesperson 
or in my case, a Microsoft representative saying it's like, oh yeah, these websites, you know, they talk about, you know, how bad the built-in Windows one is. You should be using these third-party versions. It's like, dude, shut the F up. I know what you're doing. Just walk away. I know what I'm looking for. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to do a jump cut because it's actually not in this room, but I just want to show you this other thing I got recently. All right, so let's go ahead, open the